was diagnosed with breast cancer in February 2011, and I thought, really? Is this really happening to me? I had just spent 23 years in the military, in the Air Force, and so I was really preparing for the next phase of my life. I just moved into a new house, and I was raising two kids at home, and I had two in college, and breast cancer was not a part of it. And I thought, cancer? Wh wh where did that come from? How can that be me? But then once I thought about it, I had to determine that cancer wasn't who I was, it's what I had. And it could be me because that's what God had planned for me. And I was ready to take that challenge. And I remember telling my friends that I had breast cancer and they just looked at me. And I just looked at them and we kind of all thought, okay, we're gonna fight this and we're gonna beat this. And that's exactly what we did. So as I went through treatment and I had all the support, I thought, I have got to give this back. There's no way that I can continue to move along in my life without taking what God has blessed me with and giving it to other women. So starting the nonprofit organization, Circle of Cancer Care, is probably one of the greatest accomplishments of my life because I feel like I'm a servant leader and I'm, I'm, I'm giving back and I'm helping do what God wants me to do. Starting a support group for the women in the community was very important to me because I was truly blessed to have a group of friends who provided me with support, phenomenal support. Whether I needed to be driven to my medical appointments, I needed to have my grass cut, I needed my kids driven someplace, it was literally non-stop and I thought to myself, what a true blessing God had bestowed upon me and I wanted to take that same blessing and pass it on to other women in the community. And the support group allows the women in the community to come in and we talk about, we talk about everything. We talk about things from people's kids to their vacations and it's just a bonding time that I think is very important because we um, address women who have all cancer. Although I'm a breast cancer survivor, we have women who in, our, in our support group who have stomach can cancer. We have a lady who had esophageal cancer. So we're just a, a mixture of women who come together to support each other through a journey that, that is very challenging. But that journey can be walked with support. It can be overcome with support. And I think that to, having the support that I had from my friends was, was a vital part of my treatment process. Even though that's not what the doctors prescribed, that's what God prescribed. Probably one of the things that really helped me get through the whole cancer process, the journey, was I determined that I was not gonna let cancer define me, I was gonna define it. And that by me defining it, I chose how I would go through treatment. I chose how things would flow for me. That was my choice. And I made those choices based on the path that God had like laid out for me. And so the building the nonprofit was an extension of my purpose in life. I feel as though that is why God spared my life because unfortunately I have lost friends along the way through my journey over these last five years. I've had to say goodbye to people that died from cancer. So for me to still be standing, I know that there's a purpose for me to still be standing. And a nonprofit is how I continue to live my life doing God's work. And in the future, we would like to see that organization expand. We would also like to integrate in men because the men are also going through the journey of cancer and they need the same, they need support as well. They're just a little bit different as how they want to receive the support. So that's, you know, and we also want to be able to provide uh, a haven for children as well whose parents are going through cancer so that they have some type of a group that they can maybe talk to other kids who, who parents are going through treatment, whose parents unfortunately may have passed away from treatment. Just know if you've been recently diagnosed with cancer, it's not the end, it's just the beginning. It's the beginning of a new phase in how you're gonna live the rest of your life. It's a journey that God has placed you on, not because he wants you to fail, but because he knows that you can undertake it. So know that as you go through treatment, there's, there's support groups out there. If you attend a support group, you will meet so many women who've done a lot of the similar things that you may be going through. But at the same time, you can see from them, because they may be survivors of five, six, seven, ten years out, you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. You can see that survivability is extremely high. You can see that you can continue to live your life. You're going to have to make some adjustments, but know that it's going to be okay. Again, cancer is not who you are, it's what you have. 
and, and we can't allow it to define us. And the support groups gives you an opportunity to see other women so you can say, it's okay, I have cancer, it's okay. Even if you're not in our local area and you would like some support, you can email us, you can call me. I have people who call me from all over. And, I, and one of the biggest things sometimes is just someone listening to you and kind of relating to the situation. It may not necessarily be the exact same situation, but you can relate to the situation because cancer is relatable. So call me. This year, we're hosting our annual gala, and we will have a casino night. We will have our local band, PM Soul. We will have lots of gaming tables. So we want everybody to come out and enjoy the evening while we raise funds to help the ladies in the local community. The gala is 21 October at the Shirt Civic Center, and the tickets are $75 a person. With that $75, you will get $1,000 in gaming chips, and we will also provide light snacks and beverages.